ashver.com Hello, welcome to ashver.com. You are watching interesting video on things you should know about water. Whatever the latest food trend, kia seeds, coconut flour, kale chips, you're on it. But you might be skimping on the most basic thing you can do for your health, chugging enough water. I see this happening a lot with busy women. They become so absorbed with work, answering emails and texting that they neglecting that they neglect to grab a water bottle. Soon they're parched and draggy. Other signs of mild dehydration, muscle cramps, dizziness and headaches. Women who are even slightly dehydrated may find it harder to concentrate than those who aren't, according to a recent study in the Journal of Nutrition. And if your body is regularly running low on water, you're more likely to be constipated, too. Dehydration tends to happen most during the summer months. On top of transporting nutrients to your cells and protecting your kidneys, water regulates body temperature. As you heat up, your skin starts pumping out water to cool you off, which can put you at a deficit if you're not careful. But don't sweat it, our expert guide makes it easy to stay quenched all season. How much fluid should I drink every day? You've probably heard you should have 8 glasses daily, but it turns out that's a little low. This popular recommendation has been around mainly because it's easy to remember, 8 ounces 8 times per day, a good baseline is 2.2 liters, or about 9 cups of fluid a day. Day. You may need even more if you're overweight, live at a high altitude or are working in extremely hot weather, all of which are dehydrating factors. Experts agree that your best gauge is the time-tested one, checking your pee. You want it to be the color of lead. If it's medium to dark yellow, down a glass, stat. Sorry, but you don't get any bonus points for clear urine, a sign that you're actually drinking more than you need. According to a major review published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, there's no significant evidence that guzzling extra glasses will help flush your body of toxins, improve skin tone or reduce headaches any better than being adequately hydrated. Don't I have to get more when I exercise? That depends. If you'll be indoors and have managed to stay hydrated all day before the workout, then no. But if you're in the summer heat, you can easily sweat out the equivalent to 4 cups of fluid in an hour-long outdoor session. In that case, drink 20 ounces of water water an hour before, and try to take in about one half of cup during every 15 minutes of activity. Going for a jog first thing in the morning? Have a drink beforehand. And if you're training for a marathon or playing a sport for a few hours, wear yourself before and after, for every pound you've lost during your workout. Drink 24 ounces of fluid to get hydrated again. Does my daily morning coffee count? Surprise, it does, for a new study from the University of Birmingham in England. Researchers asked Java drinkers to sip either coffee or water and found that caffeine isn't dehydrating. There's a caveat, though. If you never drink caffeine and then have a cup of coffee, coffee, it acts as a diuretic and draws water from your body. But if you have coffee regularly, your body becomes habituated and it doesn't have the same effect. Other beverages, including tea, milk, or and sports drinks, also work, although you don't want to over-caffeinate or down too much sugar. What to avoid? Soft drinks, even diet kinds. They have salt, which dehydrates you. So many women think, ah, uh, how refreshing. But soda just sucks fluid out of your... How much does the water that I consume from foods like fruit matter? Water in food accounts for about 20% of people's daily fluid needs, according to the Institute of Medicine. And the hydration you get from food is just as good as what you get from drinking water. For example, a grilled chicken breast, served with, with cauliflower and one half cup of spinach, nets you almost a full cup of water. There's even a hidden perk to watery bites, they may help you slim down. If I drink a lot one day, does it make a difference if I don't have as much the next? Reality check, you are not a camel. Human bodies weren't designed to store excess water. After a couple of hours, you just pee it out. The reality is, you need to reach your H2O goal every single day to sidestep energy dips and ups and other health troubles. 
If you tend to skimp, especially at times when you've got a lot going on, tap an app to help, try Waterlogged, which will send you reminders to drink up. The good news is that even if you get seriously thirsty and realize that you haven't been drinking enough water, your body will rebound after you down a glass or two. Cheers! Do I need a water filter? Despite mandated monitoring, there can still be trace amounts of impurities in tap water, including lead that leaches from plumbing. Even very low levels of lead in water have been linked to cognitive issues, particularly in children. First, call your supplier to get your water report port. A simple carbon filter may be enough. But if there's just a tiny bit of arsenic, lead or perchlorates, you'll need a home filtration system designed for your issue. Thank you for watching this video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.